Hi friends, this is Andrea with Hip Kid Club. One more week. I have a special project for you today. This is all about Mother's Day and creative ways to wrap your gifts for tomorrow. We are going to be using different techniques and especially since we've been, most of us, at home most of the time, my idea is to try to show you how to work with what we have. And for this first project, we are using just regular craft paper. Simple, I just wrapped the box, it's a small box, and I'm going to be using the Nubo embellishment mousse and the new stencil that comes with the April kits. I mixed the yellow and the pink one that we got last month and I'm just using it with along with the stencil. I'm going to set that aside to dry and I'm going to show you how to work with the second box. This is just a box that I had um, and it fits the mini album that I made for my mom last year perfectly. So I haven't been able to see her after that. I have not been able to give her the gift. So we are going to use that box that I found and make uh, or wrap it in a different way using the papers from the April kit. So I'm using the pink um, piece of cardstock that we got this month. Um, just taking the template from the original box uh, to make the new one and I'm just cutting it and folding it in place Bring in the sewing machine to stitch around the edges as I said my double-sided this is a super sticky double-sided tape so be make sure that if you work with this kind of tape um, it you're not gonna be able to make any mistakes when you stick things okay so it slides it works step yeah, is using one of the scrapbook papers to decorate or to give it a little bit more color so that one piece of paper we're going to use for to to make the second layer to wrap the gift or the box but i am also going to do some fussy cutting with those amazing those beautiful flowers that we're going to use to decorate the the box So we have, we have the base, now it is time as I said, I'm using some of the leftover paper to fussy cut some of the flower uh, clusters that we get. I'm going to show you how I start doing just one of them, but I end up with three. We'll see if I use, in the end I'm not sure if I end up using just one or two of the flower clusters, but we'll see. Okay, and then I'm going, I'm checking some of the Sweet Story chipboard stickers. I like that yellow one since it's, it's all pink around. I feel that the yellow helps. And since I'm using the gold bow, I think that it, it helps. And then I'm using some of the chipboard alphas that we got last month. I didn't really get to use them for many projects uh, last month, so I'm showing you. I'm adding some um, foam adhesive on this one, and then I'm bringing some of the paint, the um, liquid paint that we got this month in the color kit, and I'm gonna add. I'm gonna use it as watercolor. I just want a super soft pink color here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that one's done for now. And then I'm coming back to the tiny box that we decorated with the stencil and the embellishment mousse in the beginning. And because here is why I'm bringing that a border punch to go around and to wrap it around the other edges because I, <laughs> I try first to cover it all with the stencil and the paint and I did not get a perfect finish especially on the edges so it was very difficult to get to hold the stencil and to make it look perfect so I'm using one of the cardstock one of the pink peachy cardstock that we get on the April kits and it matches perfectly the um, the peach tone that I got by mixing the yellow and pink embellishment mousse and then because I know that this is just regular wrapping uh, craft paper that it's gonna end up in the trash what I'm doing is I'm kind of creating an embellishment that can be easily removed before you open your gift and that my mom can use um, for something else. She can use to stick it, she can put a magnet and put it on the refrigerator and do whatever she wants as it acts as a one piece of embellishment. Okay, we are done with two of the boxes and be because we're talking reusing, about reusing, recycling, reusing, I found one of my old planners my old traveler notebooks uh, boxes and I, and I thought it was perfect for the just to keep the other notebook that I made for her that it's actually using the same crate paper uh, piece of paper so the idea here is to make sure that the box matches the notebook inside. On the first one, it was a note, uh, mini album that was that made a year ago. So I, the main idea was I just found a box that fits the mini album. But for this one, the decoration needed to match the notebook that I made this month for her. And now I'm working on a shaker. I just use the metal dies it to cut the to get the shape the oval shape and I use the same um, die to cut the foam and the acetate that's gonna hold the shaker I did, I believe by now, yes. So I did some stitching around the edges of both the, car the pink cardstock and the scrapbook paper. Some foam, adhesive foam to and double-sided tape to add it, super sticky double-sided tape to add it to the actual box. You could cover the entire box, but what I like about it is that it has some gold dots all around and I just wanted to I thought it was okay to just cover the top of it I'm using some of the holographic alphas that we get this month and then I'm coming with some sequins that has some of the some of the tone uh, most of them are also holographic so they're pinky bluish it has all the colors but they shine it, they're super pretty and they go well all together this final ones are some stars uh, I think that's it no nope. I'm coming with more holographic white sequin okay then we added Oh, I'm cleaning the acetate because I've been it's been all around so I just want to make sure it is very clean I clean it on both sides and then I'm adding glue to the border and sticking it to the box okay it holds really really well the sequence really it's a pretty fun shaker and then 
just a bow from last month and, and then I'm just adding some texture to to the box and there you see it it's the pink the same pink and the same paper that I'm using all I have really is this tissue paper and I'm using I have I found some um, fairy lights and I'm using that just to make you you can definitely you keep them off of course but before you're gonna give it just make sure that you turn them on and it looks really nice when they open the box and it's and it comes with the lights all right we are done with the three boxes and I also uh, the last challenge or the last thing that I needed to make was a card so I'm using the same pink light pink cardstock that we've been using for some of the other projects and rests of this pink paper Okay, you are just from this point we're gonna go uh, we're gonna do a flip through and we, I'm gonna show you all the projects I had issues with the camera I was not able to get the whole um, process of how to make the card but what I added in the end was just two stickers this is from the um, um, Mar summer market collection and then from last pre last two months, I think we got those gold phrase stickers. Here it is. As I said, the the pink happy. Uh, it's an embellishment that can be easily removed before they open the gift. Here you get the second box that holds a mini album that, as I said, was made long ago and I have not been able to give it to her. So now I have a pretty box to keep it safe and make sure she gets it when I see her again. And the same with this one. It was a box that I already had that I've been um, keeping some other stuff in and I thought it would be perfect to now keep the pretty mini notebook that is inside. Lights are on, you cannot really see very well through the camera, but that's, that's about it. These were three different creative ways to, to mainly work with what we have at home and make it look pretty. Now we're gonna go, I'm gonna leave you with some close-ups of each one of the projects. As I said, there are three boxes and we used some mixed media, fussy cutting, we used cardstock, or pattern paper, <laughs> we used embellishments, and we used some dies and punches. Things that, as I said, I do have at home, I believe that most of us have and that will you can definitely go ahead and make your own boxes from scratch i need it i like the ones that i found and i thought it was nice to let you know that you don't always need to start a project from zero or you don't need to make it more difficult for you it just use what you have get creative and make it look pretty make sure as well that you take a look at the new kits that are available the make kits will start shipping very soon make sure you have everything that you want and we're always over on the facebook group and the blog posting amazing projects every single day so make sure you take some time to dive and check all social media instagram as well with different projects every single day from hip hip club and 
and all the design team members. I hope you have a very nice week, a wonderful Mother's Day, and have fun, get creative, and see you next time. Bye-bye.